What's up everybody? My name is Aiden McIntyre. I'm a baseball player with the Oakland Athletics Organization and this is my channel. So quickly before we get started, um, you want to throw 95 or however hard you want to throw. I want to gain a thousand subscribers. So if you could please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with anybody else who either does driveline stuff or is looking for a better way to warm up. So now we will get into the video um, and I'll talk you guys through each step of what I do. What's up guys, my name is Aiden McIntyre and I'm a minor league pitcher with the Oakland Athletics as well as a driveline trainer and today we're going over another tip of the week. Alright, so this is after um, I do all my other deep tissue, active warm-up, bands, Jager bands, stuff like that. So I just do reverse throws, um, I go 8 to 10 reps, I just do it with the black ball. Um, this is mainly just to kind of get loose, get the arm moving, um, pretty staple uh, starting spot. So After the reverse throws, I go straight into pivot picks. Um, I kind of do a staggered stance, and it's mainly just working on rotation, uh, feeling into my upper body, stuff like that, just kind of getting loose. With this one, I do 10 throws with the green ball. So after I go from there, um, I go back, I do one more round of reverse throws, again, just with the black ball. However many you need, 5 to 10 is typical range. Um, I start The second round, I start throwing them a little bit harder, is kind of the main difference. This gets me ready to go back into more pivot picks. Uh, this is where I go into the black ball for pivot picks. So I do five with the black ball, five with the green ball. Um, and by now, I'm, I mean, you're kind of more loose. You're feeling it out. Arm feels good. Black ball is really good for kind of showing you where your arm is at. Um, so now I'm out of the staggered stance for the pivot picks. Um, so I'm going into a regular pivot pick. Um, really kind of getting a little bit deeper hip shoulder separation and also starting to kind of increase the intent obviously depends on the day what your intent is going to be um, it's like this is like a hybrid d-day but pivot picks kind of start increasing them as each round goes up yep. so usually i'll do five black five green so after that this is kind of something that i do because I like it um, so I do modified rocker so instead of a traditional rocker I just get my arm immediately up um, and I'll do this with blue ball red ball yellow ball gray ball and so I just work down one 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 um, and I'll usually do two to three sets of these I uh, just work my way down increase in tent as I go up uh, main thing is just kind of feeling your front hip you, I lift the foot kind of just drift back arm releases um, it's a really good field drill for me. I like it a lot. So that gets us into the next one, which is the walking windup. This is kind of the last drill I do. It's high intent, higher intent. Um, you kind of get your body moving faster. Um, it's helpful to kind of get you moving, especially your lower half. So with these, I do the same thing. Blue ball, red ball, yellow ball, gray ball. And I'll do two or three sets, just work my way down and kind of feel it out. So. All right, so that's pretty much a breakdown of what my warm-up plyo routine looks like, um, the different weighted balls I use, what the order is, um, how many throws with each one. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. You can ask me on Instagram. But I mainly wanted to make this video to show you guys what kind of my routine looks like. And it's one of those things that you kind of build and change over time. Um, but this is what I do for right now. And it helps me get ready to throw every day. So. I hope this helped you guys, and I appreciate you guys for watching. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody else who needs a better warm-up routine. Thank you.